name. So I'm Ashlyn. I'm an intern here at the State Park. Okay, and you go to school? I go to school at Elon University, so up in North Carolina. I'm about okay. to be a senior this year. Okay, so what do you do as an intern here at Edisto Beach? Yeah, so we come out every morning and we do dawn patrols, and so we're surveying the beach looking for turtle nests, and so we look for the crawl and then identify where the nest is. We take an egg from each nest and we take that and break the egg actually and then we'll put it in a vial and send it off to the University of Georgia and through that we're able to participate in a DNA study and so we've been able to see a lot of genetics and been able to track turtles where they're nesting every year and so it's been really useful information. Well that is awesome so yeah. how many how many nesting sites or how many falses and how many uh, real egg nests have you had today? So today as of now we've had about three false crawls and so they came up on the beach decided not to nest for whatever reason that was whether they didn't like the area or too shelly um, and went back to the water and then so far we've had four nests but we're still going so there could be more so we are up to 74 as of now for the entire season and still counting so and you told me the incubation time for those eggs from the time they're laid until the time they hatch is yeah. So it's about 45 to 60 days and it's temperature dependent and so whenever it's warmer it's going to be a quicker incubation period and so we're looking at about mid-July to get those first hatchlings. That is so awesome. Thank you for yeah, telling absolutely. all this stuff to us. So we can actually see where she's nesting throughout the season as well as in 2010 which is how long we've been doing it here in South Carolina. So we get a better idea of their population Got a crowd here. They're digging up uh, turtles, making sure they all get to uh, to where they belong. I met her a couple months ago. She's been here for a while. Very kind person. Wow, what a beautiful day. This is my last day. It flew by. Oh my goodness, it flew by. Today we had a storm blow in while I was fishing. It lasted about 10 minutes, but it was pretty intense while it was here. One more night, and then I go home. What a neat place. You? you work long hours. I do. I was out this morning, and here I am. Oh, cool. So, yeah. So, he's going to make it He's gonna make it tonight, huh? He is. So, in a minute, we'll release him out to crawl back okay. out to the water. And how much longer are you working with this program? I only have a week left. So, Man. I started at the beginning of May, and now my time is coming to an end. So That's sad, great. But had a good long three month season down here. First down first. Get a good perspective of things. Although there were 55 that didn't survive up here. That guy's pretty happy right now. <laughs> Boy, it's a long way to that ocean. Oops, don't move. There he is.
Okay, finally. Is he gone? Wonder where he's at now. Boy, any big fish coming along would eat him right up. Okay, let me bring this down. Okay, so you said how many are gonna make it? So one in a thousand of the turtles are gonna make it to adulthood. Adulthood is 30 years of age, so they have quite a long way to get to that adulthood status. Wow, and that that's a wild surf out there for a little guy to, and I'm just thinking any medium-sized fish could just swallow that guy right Absolutely. up. Absolutely, so any sort of predatory fish is gonna be their prey. Also gulls that swoop down right on the surface because they yep. are coming to the surface of the water to breathe. They still have lungs, so they uh -huh. have to breathe oxygen from the air. And so they are swimming for about two days. That's kind of why that one in a thousand comes into play. So wow. there's lots of predators out there. As soon as they make it, about a hundred miles out or so, after that two day period of swimming, they're gonna reach the Sargasso Sea which is a bunch of seaweed that's pulled together by the currents and gyres of the ocean. And so that's where they're gonna find protection from all of those predators and be able to live for the first 10 years of their life. I had so. no idea they had something out there waiting for them. Yes, yeah, so they are instinctually driven to swim out to this bed of seaweed that's been there for thousands and thousands of years. Wow. And so that's where they find all of their food sources, their protection, and that's where they're gonna try it, to is grow that, and develop. Is that seaweed underwater or is it on the surface? It's at the surface. So it's the sargasso seaweed. It has little pockets of air within it. And so okay. there's kind of bubbles that are naturally within the plant. That's why it floats right on top. Okay. Because those turtles do have to be at the surface to breathe. And so they're right there, right in the shallows of kind of the middle of the ocean. That, I had no idea. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so how many, what happened here on this one tonight? We're, so, um, we had three different inventories. We had two really successful. There was 122 eggs in one of our nests. Only two eggs didn't develop. And so they were still just whole eggs. That can be because they were unfertilized. It can be because of a parasite or fungus or just simply didn't develop something occurred embryo embryologically okay. while they were developing. Um, then this turtle was, or this nest wasn't as successful. We still had about 50 or so that hatched and made it to the water, but we also had about 50 turtles that didn't make it and they were dead within the nest. There oh. was a giant fire ant hill on top. And so naturally there's gonna be a lot of predators while they're still in the nest as well. Wow. So fire ants, even though they're much smaller in size, they can cause a lot of damage to those baby hatchlings if they get too many bites. Their immune system and their just nervous system response isn't quite strong enough to handle multiple bites over and over again. And so that's why we saw so many that didn't quite make it out of this Wow, nest. that's a shame. Yeah. Okay, so how many nesting sites have you had so far? So we have had over 200. We are at 204 nests on our just mile and a half State Park Beach as of today, which is early August. But then we've had about 60 or so already hatched. So wow. it takes 45 to 60 days for the incubation period of those eggs. And so so I, I saw you out here, I think in May. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I've seen you twice <laughs> yeah. besides besides this trip. Yes, yes. So what happens now with your program, with your education now? Yeah, so I am headed back to school in about a week. I go to college up at Elon University in North Carolina. Okay. And so I'm about to start my senior year. So one more year finishing up that undergraduate degree in biology, and then I'm looking into graduate school programs along the southeast coast to potentially study sea turtles and alligators more in the future. Oh, that sounds so, sounds awesome. Well, yeah. thanks for this interview. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so when it comes time for the turtles to start popping out of the ground, they put up these black kind of plastic tarps to kind of direct them toward the ocean instead of toward the salt marsh. So we can actually see where she's nesting throughout the season as well as since 2010, which is how long we've been doing it here in South Carolina. 
so we get a better idea of their population, we get to answer some questions about turtles that we didn't know before.